everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing and I am getting out you know I'm out here with Daisy Daisy say hi Daisy say hi Daisy hi out here this garbage man coming by out of where Daisy lent Daisy out I'm gonna go fish in the morning I just got off the water with Eric and um, went and looked and scouted out a, a place that I hadn't fished like in a really long time so I scouted out a place I hadn't fished in a long time went with Eric and I wanted to invite some of my Patreons to come out and come fish do an open invite I have a lot of Patreons that are curious about you know, flounder fishing and are um, maybe they haven't flounder fish or they haven't fished in this location or maybe they don't even have anybody to go fish with so uh, my Patreon group it allows me to do open invites and allows me to get one-on-one -on -one with a lot of people that are available to fish when, when I'm on the water uh, it's not easy because I do fish primarily like during the week so it hasn't been easy for a lot of them but um, those that do come out you know I appreciate it so we're gonna go out we're gonna fish a spot right before between Pelican Island or on the edge of Galveston Island but right before Pelican Island um, sorry a lot of grass in the air just had my yard my on my lawn cut but um yeah so we're gonna fish a spot over there i went and scouted out like i did said yesterday with eric and if you, you're gonna fish a new area you're gonna fish a new spot look at google maps look at some of the surrounding area look at some places that maybe you want to target and get boots on the ground go out there take a drive see where they're parking see what other cars are parking kind of let you know where it's a good area to park or a good place to park because um I get asked I get asked a lot when it comes to some of these more popular spots is hey where do you park how do you get there I'm you gonna he's got to go and, and figure it out uh, it's hard to tell people to where to park at in some of the places and uh, and I don't want to tell you hey you can park your car there and then it gets towed or broken in or something like that I'm not I'm not gonna suggest you know you got to go and, and get boots on the ground and check it out but we're gonna be fishing with some uh, some life go we'll be fishing with some gope I'm going to take the get her done rig and take a single head jig head. Just take like two rods with me. It's a bit of a hike, a bit of a walk. Um, I have like four patrons, I think, that's coming out. And Eric. Eric's coming back out. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully, and catch us hooking up. So you put that bait cast back on, huh? Mm -hmm. He's hurting. Hey, there, there you go. go. Eric broke the broke the seal. Yes, sir. Put your hands on. Come here, little buddy. <laughs> you <awesome? Well>, kiss. <laughs> How'd oh, it go? Shit. Kiss him. Nah. Just mm -hmm. Put your tongue in there. We ain't doing no sugar today. Put your tongue in there. Man, that's that rods. That's a good rod. Nice. Rods suck. <laughs> oh, shit. Eric. I, and I broke. Eric. Now, hold on. Let me ask you this. What? How did I break off and still broke the rod? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny, bro. Look, you can, now you got a flounder jigging rod. That's yeah. a good one. Jig down that wall. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's, it, it went it went from a, a medium light to short and heavy. Yeah, short and real heavy. Here we go. Oh, there's a little guy. I thought I felt you. I pulled him off the bottom real fast. Oh my goodness, man! That's funny. Hey, that's one. See, I felt thump, and I left it alone. Then I felt thump, and then I pulled it, and it was a little heavy. So then I reeled down, and then I set the hook. Yeah, he'll sl he'll slide with you. You know what? Sometimes you'll be in rock, sometimes you'll be in mud, but sometimes you'll have the little guy. And you see where that hook is? That hook is right in his mouth. Where I didn't wait, I didn't count down, so I don't I didn't gut hook him. So he's still got a free piercing out of it. 
Oh, and he peed on me. Gross. I'm get back on some of that trout. <laughs> See, I'm getting, I'm getting pop, pop, pop. But this, this is not a flounder. See? It's like little pinfish. When I'm pulling it, it's, it's just, it's just my, there's no weight to it. Oh, I guess it was a flounder. Got it. Yeah, another little guy. Golly. He's not happy with me. There you go. <laughs> little baby. Fish on, fish on. Swing it up, swing it up. That's what I'm talking about. It's a baby, but it's a pretty baby. We don't care. Hold it up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. She got it on that H2 Express jig head, I see. That rattle jig head. You ain't getting off it up. You got one, Eric? You sure? You sure? Let's see. There you go, right off that pipe, what I said. Hey, I can't get no him up! Hooks it, oh! Put it raw. Let's see that hook set. Got him? Yeah. I don't be playing, bro. You said I don't be playing. <laughs> That's a better one. No, we ain't. Dang it, they look so big in that water till they come up here. It they magnify them. Right in the mouth, too. What you doing, Carl? Trying to see what this man's doing. He's trying to get some of his matches. Come, come over here, come over and match. cast next to him. Yeah, I'm telling you. There you go. That one. See, you ain't even using white anymore. That's not uh, even gope, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yep. What is that? Purple. What oh, is that thing? Split tail or something. Some kind of fluke. Yeah. That fluke? There it goes. I gotta tighten the drag up or something. There you go. Come on. There got that touch. Hurry! It looked big again, Eric. <laughs> I swear it looked big again. Yeah. Get in that, get out I that water. Right over on his head. He get out that water and he gets cold, so he shrinks up. <laughs> shrinks up like four inches. They were just wearing him out. That's a jerk shed, you said? Mm hmm Purple chrome. Purple chrome. Mm. Black and bronze. We're gonna try this new color. The water's a little stained, a little darker. I'm gonna see if uh, this is gonna do the trick. Gope, of course. Originally picked this up for darker water clarity, like fishing around the marsh, but it was real tough. Kind of what it looks like there. To get her done rig, H2 Express bait safe style hook. Jago. There we go. <laughs> look, at, look, at that. Go. <laughs> look at that hook set. Laddie, I should have told you on that one. Uh -huh. That was a hook set. He came all the way out on the hook set. There was no, no reeling. See, the Get Her Done rig is also an, a knuckle buster. You try to grab it, and the flounder's kicking, it'll bust your knuckles up. That little sinker. There you go. Little baby. So you just That's a keep. That's a keeper. Oh that's a keeper. So when they're right underneath me, you gotta you gotta set the angle to try to hook them. I'm running. Bye. 
Let's see how much this. How big this guy is. Look at that hook set though, right in the front of his mouth. That's what you want. Leave it in the mouth. Don't gut hook him. He had no time to run. He's still real green. Right at the front of his mouth. There we go. Now we got you. There we go. It might be short. It looks, oh yeah, 16, baby. Oh, hell yeah. 16 incher. Sixteen incher. Hey, they're running. All right, so it's a little slow right here. You know, it's still pre-run. Uh, we'll probably start seeing the flounder come through a little more this next week, week and a half. But um, we're done, done fishing this location. We're gonna run down a little bit of over to Pelican Island and jump in and get our waders on, jump in and see if we can see if we catch any any flounder that are just enjoying the day like us. Hopefully we'll catch maybe one or two more keepers. I felt you, I felt you, I felt you. What are you? There we go. Little guy. But he's my guy. Dang, he doesn't get any smaller than that. Look at that. Look at that little baby. Dang. Tell me I can't catch flounder. What's up? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. Just joking. Like, I, I could use you for bait. Baby, look at look at that thing. It is so cute. I'm gonna go put it in my fish tank. Look at that. It's adorable. Got perfect spots on them and everything else. Well, that is it. That is gonna do it. You know, we had a wonderful time out here in beautiful Galveston, Texas. You know that flounder run. I mean, they should be here any second. I knew for sure they're gonna be here. One of the things that I did notice is the water. The water temperature is a lot cooler and the water level dropped so we just had that front and that did two things both things will push the flounder out and help the flounder begin on their run i met out with i met up with some patreons kind of the reason why i did a, a patreon was not only to uh have an additional platform where i can communicate to viewers and subscribers also you know let's face it you know it takes money to do this so it's also an, a revenue stream but it helped me and allows me to be able to fish one-on-one -on -one with people uh with viewers and subscribers that that really want to learn or or, prop, or maybe even that are just dedicated and, and want to come out and 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 meet up and, and link up and, and fish together and all that good stuff so uh it gave me the it gives me the opportunity to do that so i'm trying to figure out where i'm going can't see my phone with this you know don't do this at home you know i'm driving i can't see with my waterland sunglasses because the polarized lenses are so great can't see my phone with them and i'm trying to record an outro and think about everything i want to tell you at the same time without hitting anybody <laughs> Yes, I know. Super bad, super dangerous. Shame on Ruben. He should be taken and thrown behind the sun. But that's not the case. All right. So join Patreon today if you want to be just like all the other gals and girls. All the cool kids that are doing it. Gives me a chance to meet up with everybody and help their learning curve. Give them fishing reports, fishing insights, all that good stuff. Uh, everything that we caught today was on Gope, I believe. No, hold on, Laddie got a few hookups and she lost a couple flounder on uh, Voodoo Shrimp. But everything else was caught on Gulp. And it was her first flounder. I'm so happy and so excited for her. She caught her first flounder on, she hooked up to two and lost them right. She's working on the hook set, you know. They have that real bony jaw, so you gotta really penetrate that hook. So very happy for her. I'm counting it, all three of them. She, she she got a keeper, it was right at 15, and then two other ones right off the ledge, uh, they came off, but I'm counting them as a keeper. They're a, they're a keeper, laddie. 
But yeah, we really had a good time. Carl came out, Sheila came out, Laddie came out, Eric came out and met with us right before he went to work. Appreciate Eric always come, always lending a hand and helping out too, and coming out always a great guy to fish with. But uh, we had fun. We had fun. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, like. If you want to leave a comment? Leave a comment. Share. Share it. There's nothing wrong with sharing. Uh, sharing is caring. But yeah, I had a good time. I'm getting off now. I am tired. We weighed fish. One of us to a park real fast. Uh, Laddie and and Carl and, uh, never weighed fish to a park, so I wanted to take them over there. We we're just right up the road. Went over there. I caught in the little flounders. Not really going on. A lot of little prints over there, though. A lot of little prints at Seawood Park. Flounder prints, which means that they're early in there overnight. So. It should, it should start heating up really, really quick. So, yeah, so we did that and, um, and yeah, showed them the lay of the land, showed them where to park, showed them, you know, a few little key points over there. But, like I said, man, we just had, we just had fun. It's all, all love, all fishing, all the time. Thanks, guys. Hopefully, next time you catch me, hook it up. Thanks.